Hello, how are you on this beautiful day? There is a male. There is a male in your life who is not really honoring his commitments. Okay, there are things that he said that he will do, but not really doing it. Okay, like he can put his all into it, but he's not putting his all into it. Okay, he is not putting his all in that. And it's like he needs to start learning more about this whole topic. He needs to start learning more about this as well. Okay. Um, also, when it comes down to him, it is time for him to allow more time before making a decision. So he needs to start praying and waiting. Okay, don't be so quick into making a decision. Okay, he needs to like allow more time before making it. Don't rush into making a decision. All right. He also needs to have faith and not only just have faith, but he needs to take a leap of faith as in just step out and do it. Know that God is with you as well. OK, but he has to like follow his dreams, follow his dreams, because I do see he will be getting like unexpected opportunities. OK, and when those opportunities start coming into to him, it's like he really going to have to take a step back and decide what is it that he really wants to do. OK. And he got to start learning how to look at things in a different perspective and from a different perspective as well. And for some reason, it just feel like he is like also in a um at a temporary standstill, like, oh my gosh, I can't do anything right now. It's just like things are at a standstill for this person in their lives, but they have to look diff look things, look for like, oh my God. He needs to like look at things from a different perspective, but he just feel like he's at a standstill right now. Like there's nothing happening right now. This is something that's just temporary. Okay. But Temporary, if he just have faith and just take that leap of faith and just put all his time and in, into this whole thing, it will be a success. Okay? It will be a success. Like he's on the path, he's on the right path. Okay? He's towards making things happen. But he gotta have faith. It's like there's gonna be um Exciting new opportunities. Just like I said, opportunities are coming his way as well. When this opportunity comes, it's like he's really going to have to take his time. He's going to have to take his time in making the decision. Because when he take this, make this decision, it's like everything is good. It's going to start happening for him. Things are really going to start. All his concerns and worries. All his concerns and worries will fade away okay because everything will start happening for him and a good good things will start happening for him when it comes to the woman as well this woman here it's like her objective is decision making so it's to the point to where she makes all the decisions for everyone including her as well OK, um, at some point, it's to the, at some point when situations get too hard for her, it's like she be trying to like see the humor in the situation as well, because this woman is not really standing up for herself, not standing up for what she believe in as well. OK, um, also, when it comes down to this woman as well, it's to the point to where she's not really finding herself. It's like self-discovery. Find out. Who you are. Find what makes you happy as well. Um, and this is something that you have to do for you. Okay? Not only that, but it's like you don't want to accept help from others. And not only don't want to accept help from others, but it's to the point to where sometimes you don't like to share with others what it is that you're going through um, at all. 
And sometimes if you do open up and you share about your feelings or what it is that you're going through, then people will be there to help you. But it's to the point to where you don't open up. You don't talk about the things that you're going through. So no one is there to like really step in and help you because you're not opening up. Okay. So it's like you have to have, you don't have the wisdom to accept help from other people. So be open as well to accept help from other people. Okay. Okay, so I do see where there's a lot of issues going on, okay? When it comes down to these issues, it's like you are trying so hard not to worry about the issues, the conflict that's going on with you as well, okay? Um, I can tell you that there are some things that was happening with you, and it's like you really wasn't learning from that situation at all, all right? I can tell you also that you're no longer... Um, like withdrawing yourself from people emotionally is to the point to where you are emotionally, um, hurting right now. Um, you're hurting right now, but it's to the point to where you're not withdrawing yourself anymore, like going into depression at all. Okay. I can also tell you that you are not on the right path. At one time, you were not on the right path, and you're not getting enough rest as well. And it even got to the point to where you were not really making things happen. And it's like you could have did those things, make things happen, but it got to the point to where you were not making things happen at all. All right? But I can tell you now you're getting ready to have a new opportunity that is getting ready to enter into your life as well. Okay? It really is. Now, you're going to have to start not only a new opportunity, a new beginning for you, but I also see your relationship, your marriage, okay? I do see y'all a marriage, okay? When it comes down to that issue, you're going to have to start getting you rest. Stop worrying, pray about it, and give it to God. Stop worrying about the issue, the conflict, the drama. Know that there is going to be peace in your relationships. There is going to be peace in your home as well. Know that there's not going to be any more obstacles, no more challenges also, okay? But I can tell you, I do see this marriage. That's a whole marriage. It's like that's binding y'all together. Know that money is coming in your direction. Money is coming. New opportunities, new beginning in your life as well. The thing is, you're going to have to start talking. You're going to have to start learning how to speak up. You're going to have to start learning how to express yourself and how you really feel. Okay? But you have to do it in a loving way. I do see you also doing a whole lot of thinking, 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 trying to figure out what it is that you want to do need to do and how you are going to do it as well you have to also start leaning on god for support when it comes down to that as well because it's like you're trying to do everything on your own and by yourself and don't make things complicated either okay don't let things complicated but it's some things that you do have to address so express yourself let some things go not just some things, but let things go. Know that there is going to be peace in your relationships, peace in your life also. Okay? Mm. And just know that prosperity lies ahead of you. Alright? You might be going through something now, but know this. Know this. That prosperity is waiting for you. Happiness is waiting for you as well. Okay? It is happening. It's going to happen. You will be happy. You just got to trust the process. Okay? Trust the process. Let go and let God. And be open to receive all the many blessings that he has for you and your family. Okay? Know that God is protecting you from all forms of hurt, harm, in danger you have to start learning to relax 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 you can now relax now and not only relax now but just go ahead relax and breathe okay it is time for you to start being happy period period it's time for you to be happy and it's like you do want to be happy 
and you will be happy. Money is coming, not only just money, but opportunities are coming to your life. Okay? Um, but when it comes down to love, hmm. Remember I told you you had to communicate more? You had to talk. There's some things that you need to talk about. Express yourself. Um, like really, really honestly discuss. Talk about how you really feel. All right? Talk about that to each other. Yeah. And know that someone from your past is going to be wanting to uh, reconcile with you. You know, as in clearing the air and getting some things off their chest. Um, wanting forgiveness as well. Um, and with this person, it was like things were complicated um, as well. Yeah, almost to the point to where things got sidetracked. Yeah, something, yeah, this is from somebody that really hurt you. Okay? So, know that there's going to be some repos somebody from your past is going to want to come back and communicate to you. Okay? I do see you being patient. But it's time for you to start discovering yourself. Find out now more about you. Love you and find out who you are and who you are in Christ as well. Okay? Um, see things in a positive way and not only just see things in a positive way, but start getting creative. Okay? Stop being creative. Um, in your in your life as well even when it comes down to the kids and with the family sometimes you might have to do like a game night a game night as well something fun a barbecue or it's it's time for that to start happening okay it's time for that to start happening and also you have to start listening to your intuition listen to your intuition all right and pay attention. Pay attention to your intuition. Pay attention to the signs as well. Know that God loves you, the creator of heaven and earth. He loves you. Jesus loves you. And I do too. Okay. And if you're not saved and would like to be saved, in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, If you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, and you too are saved. Are you ready to be saved on this day or rededicate your life? Or just say, Lord, I'm right here. I surrender it all. Now is your time to do that. Do you believe that God raised Jesus from the dead? You do. Amen, amen, amen. You are now my sister in Christ, my brother in Christ as well. Listen, make sure you 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 repent every day of your sins. What are what is repenting? Asking God to forgive you of your sins, knowingly and unknowingly. What are sins? Sins are things that was done that are wrongdoing in God's eyesight. Okay, so make sure you do that every day. Know that God loves you. The creator of heaven and earth, Jesus loves you. And I love you too. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. Amen.